Hi. Happy Serene Sunday. <sighs> Happy Serene Sunday. I've missed a couple of Sundays and I would apologize, but I do not regret taking time to pause for the cause and to figure out what the heck was going on <laughs> going on with my life. Um, with that being said, today I want to talk to y'all about being present. And I want to start with my thesis. We got my notebook today. Which says, um, we miss what God is doing when we choose to stay stuck in what he has brought us out of. Let me run it back. For you and for me. We miss what God is doing when we choose to stay stuck in what he has brought us out of. All right, let's get into it. So today, I went to the grocery store. My mom needed some stuff. I needed some stuff. But I'm also in this phase where a lot is happening and I want to talk. So I decided to get on the phone with my friend and talk about a situation that I've talked about multiple times but if you know me then you know I like to discuss things over and over again until it makes sense to me but God has already given me a revelation about the situation and at this point I feel like I'm taking up too much it's taking up too much space because in this season God is calling me to be present and process some things later because the blessing is in the moment. While I was at the grocery store, y'all, there were so many opportunities for me to do things or I could feel that there were things for me to do in these moments, but I couldn't because I wanted to talk on the phone. And like I said, I wanted to talk about a situation that I've already stuck a fork in. Like it's done, it's dead, it, it is what it is, right? And I while I'm talking on the phone, I'm constantly having to, hey, hold on right quick, hold on, da, 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 or hold on because I'm feeling this pull and tug to do more over here, or I'm feeling this pull and tug to say this, but I can't because I want to do this as well, but this is not, this is not where I'm supposed to be right now. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe later we could talk about it more, but right now, why am I talking about a situation, giving life to a situation, steady bringing up a situation that God has already gave me a word on, period, right? So I'm going to give y'all some examples. So the first example was I was in Walmart and I saw someone who I hadn't seen in a long time. And I had this gift of discernment where I could just kind of like peep and sense where I, I, I pick up energies very well and pick up you know where people are in their lives without knowing the details and usually if I sense that I try to either initiate a conversation or I try to just give them a hug love on them make them laugh whatever I'm called to do in that moment and there was a particular person that I, that I hadn't seen in a while and I was just like, oh my God, like, I just really, really want to have a conversation with her, but I want to have this conversation on the phone too. And I remember walking away from her and coming back across her um, on another aisle. And I was just like, I want to say something, you know? So I paused the conversation. Hey, hold on right quick, you know? And I was just like, how you doing? Spoke to her kids all this other stuff like that. And I was telling her, you know, just hit me up on Facebook. But I'm just like, man, I walked away from it. And I'm just like, man, but what if the conversation is supposed to be now instead of inbox? Like, what if we forget? Like, what if something happens in between then and there? Like, I'm really feeling like I was supposed to have a conversation with her now. So nevertheless, we depart ways. I'm back on the phone, running my mouth about the old situation. Okay, then I proceeded to go to another store and this lady she she's trying she's in front of me parking her car but there's a buggy in her way and instead of getting out of the car which this is a lesson in itself as well too but instead of getting getting out of her car to move the buggy she pushes the buggy with her car and as a result the buggy hits my car and it kind of like taps it right i mean it was a little 
It was a little hard tap, but it was a tap. So I'm on the phone talking about the conversation. I'm like, hold on right quick. I was like, somebody just hit my car with a buggy, you know? So she gets out the car. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Like, please forgive me. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm telling her, like, you're fine. You're okay. All these things. But really, I just want to talk about this situation. Like, girl, you're fine. I got bigger things. Like, in my head, it's like, I got bigger things to talk about. Like, I want to talk about this. Like, girl, you good. Which I wasn't worried about it because, like I said, it was just a little tad. So she goes into the grocery store. So then, proceed to talk about the conversation again. Yeah, da 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 This girl that I know who I hadn't seen in a while, who I always try to love on when I see her, right? She hits her car on the, the, the thing that holds the buggies. She hits her car door on that and she's like, oh. and so I'm laughing at her, but I'm listening to, um, I'm listening to my friend talk on the phone like i'm listening to them but i'm laughing at her and i want to say something but i'm just like i don't want to be rude i didn't stop this conversation like three times already mind you we was on the phone for an hour after everything was over i think we was on the phone for at least like an hour and a half that's just how i run my mouth don't judge me but i'm looking at her like i'm looking at her through the window and i'm just like girl like all this other stuff and so she sees me and i'm just like making like hand motions and stuff like girl like that's not like it's your fault or whatever and then so i'm just like man like i want to have a conversation with her hold on again telling the person my friend on the phone again hold on again all right so i continue to talk to her have a conversation with her just a little bit but it wasn't what it could have been right and i'm just like how you doing just trying to i'm trying to rush it i'm trying to just check off the to-do list because I feel the pull and I feel the tug to just ask her how she's doing, all this other stuff like that. But I want to get back to my conversation. As a matter of fact, when she pulled up, she pulled up to my car and the conversation was going on because I got my car speaker going on. But she, you could tell she wanted to have a conversation with me, but I'm, my mind is like, but this conversation, you know, Tell them to hold on again. And then I, I'm having whatever little conversation I could have with her. And we finally ended the conversation. She drops off. Okay. Go into Foo Lion. Go into Foo Lion. Another girl who I always... This is amazing as I'm talking about it. See, another girl who I always try to speak to, always try to talk to, because I just feel feel like she just she's personally going through it. Not saying that these people are my responsibility, but I always want to make it my business. Like, you know, if I'm that little bit of light that someone gets exposed to, I, like, I want to be that person if I can. If it's not like there is nothing. It means nothing for me to just smile or I or I put it like this. I lose nothing by telling people, hey, how you doing? Smiling, having a simple conversation. I hope you're doing well. All this other stuff. And I try to make it my business. And this particular girl, she, I feel like she always needs it. And I'm on the phone, walking food line, didn't tell her, hey, because, or didn't do what I typically do because, you know, I want to have this conversation and I don't want to tell this person, hold on again. So I proceeded to go on about my way, get to the register, the cashier. I've come across her a couple of times and she's so nice and I could tell she's warmed up to me because I'm always telling her, hey, you know, and I had the earphones in and my friend was just going on talking about, you know, giving me insight about the situation, which I always appreciate. But then she said she speaks a little louder and she goes, did you hear what I said? And I'm like, I was like, I'm so sorry. And I had to tell my friend again hold on for a second you know hold on for a second and she goes like yeah i was asking like are you the girl who does pageants and i'm like yeah how do i know that wasn't a missed opportunity so as all these things are going on i'm having the revelation like small revelations in my mind or multiple multiple signs 
telling me, be present, get off the phone, be present, be present. But like I said, I want to talk about this old situation so bad, right? Just so bad. While I'm sticking my card in, I finally said, you know, let me call you back. I was like, let me call you back. Like, let me just call you after the girl said, you didn't hear what I said. I was like, let me, let me just call you back. As I'm, which I don't know the order, but all this is happening in one moment. But I stick my card into the card reader to pay for my groceries. And quickly, like, as I'm doing it, the lady who hits my car, she comes up to me and she's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. She wanted to pay for my groceries. And I got it out quick enough because I already knew, like, why she was telling me the whole why she was telling me to hold on and I quickly took it out and I was like oh and she was just like yeah I just want to pay for your groceries because I feel so bad because I feel like oh my god like that was so wrong and I was like no you're fine and then that's when I told my friend like I'm gonna call you back and um we continued to talk and it was such a great conversation and even though I was able to do a little bit here and there with all the people. The fact that I wasn't fully present could have robbed them of of something and robbed me of something. For example, I don't know if the lady, if the cashier was asking me about that because she was inquiring about my services. You know, I, I wasn't fully present, so I wasn't able to. Oh, and I saw someone else. Granted, I see people all the time in the grocery store, but these people who I saw today are people who I felt like I really was supposed to be in conversation with. And the fact that this lady, this cashier, she was asking me, like, are you the one who do pageants? She could have been inquiring about my pageant services. And if I would have never got off the phone, you know, with my friend, then I would have missed the opportunity for the late, like I would have kept my card in the car reader too long and paid for my groceries when she wanted to pay for my groceries and i'm just reminded about how god wants to bless us in the moment he really wants to do a thing with us he really wants to give us our breakthrough but we can't because we're so stuck in the past we're so stuck on what didn't happen or how it didn't happen or why didn't it happen and i was just in the moment where i just wanted to talk about that after i've already received the revelation after god has already given me a revelation about what I was talking about after I've already processed like I've already like processed the emotions about everything and if you know me I'm a big advocate on processing what you feel why you feel why you do what you do your intentions your emo your motives like I'm really good at that but in this moment in time it was not time for that it wasn't it was time for me to be a blessing and to be blessed but God couldn't do it or I can only imagine what would have transpired or how much greater the experience would have been had I not been on the phone trying to talk about a dead situation or a situation that God has already said, look, leave that over there, pause for the cause, whatever you need to do. And I'm just like, man, not only that, as I'm getting like back in my car to drive home my mom was like she was like hey did you not remember that I wanted you to bring the food back home at a certain time so I could have like dinner ready for your brother before he goes to work or he could eat something before he goes to work and I'm like man missing out on opportunities missing out on what you need to do missing out on handling your business because you want to stay stuck in a place or you want to live in a place that where you're just It's not for you. It's not your space. It's not where you're supposed to be. Trying to be somewhere where you're not supposed to be. You're trying to be in the past, stuck in the past. You you want to you want to live there and be here. And you can't. You can't simply put. You just can't be in both places at both times. Like somebody's going to get neglected. Matter of fact, both is going to get neglected and nobody is going to benefit or get the full benefit or the full experience of what God is trying to do or what you came to do. And I was just like, man, uh, oh, it's time to let the past go. Whatever God is telling you to release, 
just release it. Whatever he is telling you to, hey, I got you. Don't worry about that no more. I know you're worried about it, but your 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 worry is taking up too much energy. Is 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 taking up all your capacity, and you don't have the capacity to do this. You know. So let me look at my notes to make sure I ain't missed nothing. There's a time to process what you feel and what's going on, but know when to dead it. Know when to do it. Know when to process your emotions. Know when you're supposed to be um, discussing the situation. Know when you're supposed to let it go. Know when you're supposed to pause it. Know, like You have to have discernment. That's basically what I'm saying. Know when to be present. Because there's been days where... <laughs> where I don't feel that pull and tug like I'll see people out and about and it's just like not today I can't go to the grocery store today but this day this day I could sense that God was putting these people in my path for a reason and I was able to get a little bit you know like to experience a little something something with them but it's just like man I truly neglected a moment because I wanted to talk about a situation not because like I'm still, you know, upset or anything like, but just genuinely, I'm naturally a person who just loves to, to discuss things over and over and over and over again until I figure out the reason why. But it's not up to me to figure out the reason why. It's my job to trust God. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all I can do. Let's see if there's another point. You can't do things half-heartedly or you can't do both because neither is a benefit like I said, for example, when the girl, when she was trying to talk to me after she hit her car door on the buggy thing, um, I was literally trying to listen to her and him at the same time. My, my, um, my best friend, Easy. I was trying to listen to the both of them at the same time. Impossible. Cause he was spitting some facts like he was giving me like hardcore truth like he was giving me like some philosophy like some philosophical type s-h-i-t i was about to curse <laughs> during sunday maybe monday maybe tuesday or another weekday but i'm not gonna curse today anywho but he was trying to give me some philosophy uh philosophical advice and she was you know just telling me how she was doing and i'm like there's no way for me to do both either i'm gonna end this conversation or in this conversation with her. And as a result, I kind of somewhat ended this one. But for what? For something that me and my friends, we've all discussed over and over again. We talk about the same things over and over all the time. For what? For why? And that's the tea for today. That's what that's what we're on. That's the revelation. Um, no longer missing what God is trying to do because we want to be stuck in a place where he has already brought us out of. That's, that's the thing. That's what you need to know. You're already delivered. You're already healed. You're already set free. You know, like it's, it is what it is. There, there's no need for you to continue to give life to it. There's no need for you to continue to allow it to take up space. It is finished. And God wants to do something within you. He wants to, you know, expand your horizons. But he cannot do that if you are constantly hanging on tightly to what he has already set you free from. Everybody breathe. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. For sure. All right. I love y'all. Happy Serene Sunday. I'll see y'all next Sunday. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Ah!